Hey guys, it's Daryl. It's Sunday morning still. Um, I was just looking back over my last video, and to be honest with you, I, I wasn't all that happy with it. I'm going to leave it up anyway because I did a lot of work. I, t I did a lot of research looking up those numbers, and I, I think that was part of the problem, that there was so much information that I had a hard time remembering it and getting it all out in that video. But uh, it is, looking it over, it, it is true. It is, you know, it is all valid. Um, I just got back. As you guys can tell, I just, I'm still soaking wet after my shower this morning. And I, so I can't, sometimes I have stuff on my mind and I just can't wait to make a video. So this is one of those times. Um, after I made that video, I, I usually go for a walk in the morning, a hike up in the woods around here at the dam. And, uh, it's called the Thompson Dam. It's, a, it's, uh, it's about a half mile long. And it's it's high up about 500 about 500 feet up from the river, and there's a a, a a roadway that goes back and forth that you can walk on, and uh, I try to go up there every day since I've been clean and sober. I it's initially how I first started getting into exercise was going up there. Uh, once I started to feel good, uh, I needed something to keep me busy, so I'd go up there and walk. And I expanded my exercise. I got in great shape. And I still go up there to walk these days. <laughs> and I do a lot of my best thinking up there. Um, at, when I first started, I did five miles up there this morning. When I first went up there, I was still working on the uh, clean air and pollution stuff. And uh, as I kept walking, I just started thinking about the year in general as this year comes to an end. And uh, after I did about four miles, I sat on a bench at the end of the, the dam, and, and I was the only one up there for miles. Um, it was so peaceful. Um, there was a few um, ravens flying over. I swear these ravens recognize me because I've been walking up there for 13 years, and they'll squawk as they fly over me. It's so cool. But anyway, the sun was coming up and hitting the clouds, just coming over the mountain, and it was so peaceful. Um, just looking around and I focused on a tree, like a, a, a valley over a, a, the tallest pine tree I saw sticking up. And I just focused on it and stared at it and just kind of meditated and thought back on the year. And I haven't gotten rich this year. Um, my love life hasn't been all that great. But again, I, I got to say I'm happy. I, I'm very happy. Um just just sitting up there this morning and looking around at the mist and the sun coming through the mist and the sound of the river, the birds flying over. And sometimes I'm just filled with amazement just to, at everything, that the fact that I'm here still after 54 years. Um, it's just one of those moments where everything felt right with the world, where everything was good. You know, and I, I could just say that I'm happy. And this is one of those blessings that came with getting clean and sober. Um, just a new appreciation with life. Because for about 20 years, I was praying for death, uh, being a heroin addict. And it's just, uh, just living each day. It's Money doesn't matter all that much. Um, this year, not thank God, knock on wood, I haven't lost anyone close to me. And that's good. Um, like I said, I haven't gotten rich. I'm grateful for all you viewers. Um, I picked up a lot of viewers, uh, a lot of subscribers on my channel. And I consider that a success. One of the reasons I feel that I was spared, um, one of the few people that, are, that found, found my way out of drug addiction and alcohol addiction, and back into society, I'm one of the few people, and I really feel that it's that I'm here to to give hope to other people. I truly believe that. Um, just recently, I signed up at a local methadone clinic, the clinic that I initially went to 13 years ago that helped me get clean and sober. And I signed up to run a meeting um, on the first Friday of every month to try and help other people. Um, with their addiction, to, to tell them that it's possible. And these are the things that, I know it sounds corny, but these are the things that make me happy, that make, make my life worthwhile. Um, telling other people that it's possible. And then um, 
another thing that's helped this year is is I've learned that it's all about how you look at things. Um, there's going to be shitty stuff that happens in everybody's life. There's going to be death, and there's going to be uh, you're going to lose loved ones, you're going to lose pets. Um, my living situation, I, I probably will be looking for a house to buy in the next year, and I'll, I'll be moving out of this place. And that's always that's never fun. But I look back at every move I've made before this, and with change comes uh, always for me. It's always how you look at it. Um, when I was young, you know, when a lot of us were young, we would say that, oh, life sucks. You know, you'd lose your job or you have to move or whatever. And you're like, oh, life sucks. And, you know, why is this, why is bad things always happen to me? And over the last co a couple of years, especially, I've learned that it's all in how you look at it. It really is. Um, even with the worst things, the worst things, like, for instance, losing my father when I was nine. I could look back at that, and it made me a different person. It made me a stronger man. Yeah, there's there maybe it did, and maybe it had something to do with my later drug addiction. I don't know. But then again, I think that was more of a choice I made to escape um, the pressure uh, of becoming a man. So it was more my choice. I blame that more on me than on losing my father. But it's all, I, I really believe it's all, I know it's it's hard to tell anybody that, you know, losing someone you love is is going to be a turn out to be a positive thing. But I'm not saying that losing them, losing that person, is a good thing. I'm saying that along with these these troubles in life, um, there's always something positive to take away from it, to learn. And I, I know it sounds corny, and it's a hard thing to believe, especially when you're going through these bad things. But I, I truly believe it, and it's helped me. It's helped me. In the last year, whenever anything, you know, whenever I have setbacks or whatever, I just you just look for the positive. You know, how can I grow from this? How can I learn? Um, as you guys have seen, that's one of the important things I always talk about on here, that if I'm wrong, I want to know. I need to learn. Um, I, I especially am happy that people correct me when I'm wrong. Um to make me a better man, to make me a, a, a better person. And uh, one other thing that you subscribers have something to do with. Um, when I first started this YouTube channel, uh, not long ago, at the beginning of this year, um, I, I don't know what my, my eventual goal would be if it's towards monetization or, or to just to get a lot of subscribers. My main goal is to reach out to people, like I said, and, and the fact that I could conquer the dr drug addiction and not only that, but I lost a lot of weight. I got in shape. I, I started a new career uh, with my painting. Um, and now I've, I've picked up a lot of subscribers on YouTube. And this is, and I realized I was making a mistake at the beginning of this year. Again, it, it's with positive motivation. It's talking with, to people positively, looking for the positive. Um, that's why I truly believe Trump Trump can't succeed in the long run, too, is because there's so much negativity tr tied into his political movement. But I, I don't want to get off on politics right now. Anyway, back to this. Initially, I would go to places like Fox News and I would argue. Uh, I was angry. And that's the way I approached this channel at first. And all I attracted were, were angry people. Um, and very few of them, uh, it, it wasn't a positive experience until I changed, you know, I changed my approach and I started watching pos other positive people on here like Bo of the fifth column. And he struck me as such an intelligent person. And, uh, I was just so impressed with him that I made that video and, speaking highly and giving somebody else recognition like that has brought me success and positivity. Uh, this is one of the big things that I, I've accomplished and learned this year. And it has to do with you guys, the subscribers that, that you know, and I, I'm blessed to have you guys in my life um, to read, to read everything, the positive, the negative, but there's, there's way more positive than there are negative. In, I'm talking about my, my comments and responses. And it was all due to me changing 
the way I interacted here on YouTube. So this is one of the, I consider one of my biggest successes this year was, again, learning to interact and look at the positive aspects of things instead of negative. And within a couple of weeks, honestly, I, I've gained almost 800 subscribers here on YouTube. It's, it's amazing, amazing. And in the months before, the way I was negatively interacting with people here on YouTube got me nothing. Got me nothing but um, a, a few scary uh, stalkers, really. <laughs> and a lot of angry Trump supporters that really brought no happiness or learning or anything into my life, anything positive. But then once I, once I made a, a couple of videos recognizing other people and giving them credit, it came back to me. And that's one of the greatest things that's happened to me this year. It's amazing. Um, so again, I, I'm just, I'm grateful. I'm grateful for you guys. I'm grateful for my continued success, my continued sobriety. And the thing that brings me the most happiness is, is sharing this hope and this happiness with other people. It means more to me than money or anything else. So... That's all I want to say for today, and I kind of apologize for the previous video. I'm not too happy with it, the, the Mercury video before this, but I'm going to leave it up. Um, and hopefully you guys will see this video and forgive my wet hair and my mess, the mess I look. But I wanted to make this video while it was on my mind and while I had this heartfelt feeling. All right, so I, I wish all you guys a, a great 2020 and continued health happiness, most of all happiness and success. All right. You guys have a good weekend or good Sunday.